Hope you all had a great day yesterday and hope you're having an even better day today. So what I want to do is start off by letting you guys know, those who, did, who, those who didn't find out yesterday, but the rate went to 1300 to 1. Okay, still not enough, but just like a tad bit better than what it used to be because the rate used to be 1460, 1460. So it's, it's, it went down by, you know, just a little bit. But understand something, what they what they tell you and what they show you are two different things. So when they're telling you something, that's when you have to really do your research. But when they show you something, when they put it out in the front of you, they never put something in front of you that is going to be forever. They're gonna show you a starting point. This is a starting point. The 1300 is a starting point. You know what's going to float. The currency is going to float internationally, internationally to one to one. One to one internationally. And when it gets to one to one internationally, then it goes up. Some people saying it's going to be 25 cents. Come on, folks. Are you serious? You think it's going to stay at 25 cents? You think it's going to stay at a dollar? You think it's going to stay at a dollar fifty? Let's be smart here. Dinar is always going to be a dinar in country one to one. That's how it's going to be in country. It's like our dollar is always going to be a dollar in our country. But when you exchange funds, Every country have a greater value to the other country's currency than others. So I'd appreciate it if you guys I look at other people's page too. You guys on other people's YouTube page carrying on acting like little babies because the rate is not where you want it to be yet. I understand there's people like me that have been in here for nine plus years and other people's been in 15 years. We ain't complaining. You guys are coming in at the tail end of this and you're complaining about it. You're complaining about some another country's currency and how bad you want it. Stop being so selfish, so self-centered. Stop it. Just because you make, you put some money into it. Every time somebody says something, you want to come with something negative, then guess what? Folks that's talking about this as giving you the right information, we're gonna stop, we're gonna start blocking you. We're not even gonna let you voice your opinion because you wanna be doubters and Debbie Downers to other people. And guess what? The main folks that's all we talking about, oh, it's taking so long. I don't see it going here, I don't see it doing this. And guess what? Y'all gonna be the main one rushing to the bank. And guess what? You're going to be the main one spending all your money fast because you're not being mature enough to understand how the process work. Stop being mature. Start understanding this is not your country. This is Iraq. It belongs to the Iraqis. So people like myself and others, a couple of other people that I listen to, in the group that I'm in, pay attention to what we're saying. Because all you care about is the money. You don't care about anything else. Oh, I don't care about nothing else but the rate. <laughs> Self-centered and selfish. That's what you are. Instead of saying, we hope that God continues to bless the Iraqis and help hope that their currency rises to where they want it to be soon, which it will be because this is about to float. It's going to shock all of y'all because the CBI and the government is not going to tell you exactly what they're doing. If they told you what they were going to do, everybody would be rushing up buying a whole bunch of currency, a whole bunch of dinars. If they tell you, oh, it's going to go to $3 or, or $2.50, everybody would be out here 
trying to buy all of it. Stop it. Stop being selfish and self-centered. Stop thinking about just yourself. Yes, I'm talking to y'all. Whoever it is, whoever I'm talking to, if the shoe fits, wear it. You don't have to like me or my channel. I'm not begging for you guys to subscribe to me, but those who want to subscribe, you can subscribe. Because I don't make any money on here. I have other investments that I do. I teach investment. I teach people how to invest their money. I help make people hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions. I help people make a lot of money. Show them the game. I show you the game how to make money. And people that have selfish ways, like some of you, they're just worrying about the rate and impatient. And guess what? When this thing does happen, you're going to be the first to go broke. Broke. When you put some emphasis on that, you're going to be the first person, first people to go broke. Broke. Yes, you're going to be the first to go broke because you're so selfish and just don't think about anything. You got to understand there's going to be quarterly taxes you're going to have to pay on this money. You're going to have to, have, you're going to, have to get it an account, accountant. You need a, a financial lawyer. There's a whole lot that you're going to have to do once you get this, once you get this money in your hand and have access to it. There's going to be some things you got to do. And, you know, you guys still, you know, bear with me. My voice is still hoarse. But you got to understand, like I said, I'm not here. I'm not here to call anybody out because there's a few people on my page too that saw I was making comments. But I'm going to be blocking you. Because what you say is some of the things you're saying is stupid. You're not even using your head. Anyway, let me get into this real quick. So we are looking at the Iraqi exchange, right? I wanted to tell you it's 14, it's 1300 right now. So let me just show you here. Um, let me go on this side here. So let me stretch this out over here. So this is what we're looking like today, okay? So as you can see, it's down. It goes up and down. This is how the market goes. This is what all the markets goes up and down. When we had uh, 1,300, before yesterday, it was at 1.40, 1.460. Before the change came yesterday. And as you can see, you can see how all this go up and down. You see how all this go up and down. This is how the stock market works too. Okay, we like it better when it goes down. See, the smaller it or the lower it goes for in this particular situation with the currency, the better it is for us, right? Because the lower it goes, the lower it gets to a dollar, the lower it goes the lower it gets to a dollar internationally and it's going to get there it just takes time it's going to have to float it's going to have to float now look at this right here this is the calculation of everything we need to know with whatever currency you got So this is the Iraqi dinar to one USD. So 1300 is a step. We still got a little, you know, a little ways to go. All the people that really study this, they're looking for this thing to happen by March. So, or it might happen sooner, but it's got to float. They're not going to just throw it. What if they put it out yesterday? It was one dollar and fifty cents. Just because they put out one dollar one dollar and fifty cents 
is not international, right? So think about that. They put it at 1300 but it's not international. It's not an international rate yet. Iraq hasn't gone international yet. They haven't gone international yet. And you guys were with a crime. Oh, I want the thirteen hundred from uh fourteen sixty. Okay, and it ain't international yet. When it gets international, then that's when it's gonna show you the real rate. Understand this is the first rate. It's gonna change again. This month it's gonna change again. And we don't know what it's gonna be. It could go to two dollars. This is how currencies work, y'all. This is how digital currency work. Digital currency goes up and down. Paper currency stays at one level. But in a situation like this with the Iraqi dinar, because they went to war for 9-11, things that happened back then to now, it's time for the currency to get back on the market, to get back international, to get back where it was. They're not going to let their currency stay down too long. They're going to be back at $3 plus with the float don't ask me how I know that I just know I know how currencies work if you pay attention to forex you understand how forex works forex numbers st never stay the same they always go up 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 down 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 up 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 down 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 it goes up and down you just got to catch it when it's the right time for you to sell and buy So like I said, just hang in there. Wait for it to become international because the rate is going to change again. It went to 1300. It's going to change again. It was at 1460. It changed to 1300. It's going to change again because it has to change again. It's not going to stay at 1300. Use common sense, people. Use common sense. Just because you want it bad don't mean it ha it's going to happen fast. It takes time. Yes, it took. Listen, for those of you that just came in here a year ago or less or three or four years ago or less. I hate to see if y'all came in when I came in this game. I want people before me came in 15 years later, earlier. <laughs> this is nothing. If y'all crying about the, the money that you put into this. You guys are caught. You came in at the tail end. You came in at the tail end. And you guys are crying like a bunch of babies for a currency that don't even belong to your own country. Crying like big babies. Come on, man. Stop being big babies. Stop being big babies. And understand this is for Iraq. This is not even for us. But because Bush signed executive orders so we can be involved, you should be happy. You should be blessed. You should, you should be understanding. Like this is a once in a lifetime thing. Stop being big babies. If, you, if you're not patient enough, then guess what? Sell your dinars. Sell it back to me. I'll buy it from you. Sell it to me. I'll leave my email address. Sell it to me. I'll buy it from you. If you don't have uh, patience enough. Because I'm getting all I can get until this thing pops. I'm going to get all that I can get. Anyway, like I said, those of you that come on my page and you're positive and you understand i appreciate you and those of you that go on other people's page and you understand how this whole thing works we appreciate you but for the negative people and the debbie debbie downers go someplace else sell your dinars sell it because we do not care what you have to say if it's negative and those who want help wanting to wanting more clarification and understanding hey i'm here and so is a few others that's on this platform that's giving you true information, not make up, make believe information that this thing is going to happen next week or tomorrow or tonight. 
We're giving you what we're researching and what we're seeing straight from Iraq. We get our source information straight from Iraq, off of Forex and off of other uh, social media platforms. Or we go to actual currency sites and show you what they're doing. I like to give actual factual. I don't like to give in my opinion information. Actual factual. That's what makes me L the wealth builder because I like the I like that facts of what's going on, facts of ways I can make money, and facts that I can show people how to make money. Like I said, I've made people lots and lots and lots of money. But anyway, like I said, I don't only do foreign currency. I do forex too. I do all kind of different things and ways you can make money. So if those who want to be involved and try to find other ways to invest some of your money, let me know and I'll show you until this thing happens. I teach classes on Facebook. I do um, Zoom. So if you have a Zoom account, I can connect you with the Zoom. Uh, my classes start off at $200. And that's a week long class. You get two days out the week with the class. And if you have information or if you have any questions while in the class, I will sh most certainly answer your questions too. So while we're on this train, you can still be making money doing other things too. Okay? But we don't have much longer. Heck, if the rate come out internationally one-to-one, -one, guess what? That's still good. You can take one of your currency in and exchange it. Or two. But it's going to float from there too. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go up. Just be patient. It might get to $3 by what? Six, four to six months? $3? Hey, still wait. At least you got one to one internationally. Just think about it. For one of your currency, you didn't pay $25,000 for a $25,000 note, did you? Let me repeat that real quick. Repeat that. Re let's repeat that. You didn't spend $25,000 US dollars for 25,000 dinar. No, you didn't. So stop complaining. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. I'm out.